Sup psychedelic moonbeams, welcome to today's emotional makeup tutorial. The idea for this video was plucked straight from the comment section from Miss Kristen Karuga, who said, can you do ones for when you feel gross and on your period and want to trick people into thinking you're a carefree, effortless goddess? I also want to shout out to Tasnia who replied to that and said, also, can you make one to let people know you're on your period? Because <laughs> you guys are right, those are two completely different directions that you can go with your makeup whilst on your period. I definitely want to do the other video, but just what immediately comes to mind, like so you don't have to wait for the full tutorial, is you could take a Sharpie and just write on your face, I'm on my period, please be nice to me. But for today, I'm going to do this, what period? I'm not on my period, makeup look, and I hope that you guys like it. This is a great makeup look for people who have oily skin and acne prone skin, or who deal with those things while they are on their periods. And it's also a good look for people who are tired and don't want to put a lot of effort in, because it's super quick, and I'm gonna show you you can do this very easy smoky eye using just one eyeshadow. So let's get started. Cue no makeup face. So first of all, skincare. There are a couple of things that I like to do at this time of the month because my skin is more sensitive and I am more sensitive. And so I like to take the time to just do a few little things that feel good because I feel so shitty. Lately, I have been absolutely loving the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I used it before and then I ran out and stopped using it for a while and now I'm like, why did I stop using it? I love it for many reasons, but the reasons that are specific to using it right now are that it is fragrance-free and like totally not irritating to even the most sensitive of skin. It's very emollient, so I can just sit there and massage my face for as long as I want, which I like to do kind of like deeper massages that are slow, um, so I don't make my face like red or puffy but it just feels nice to kind of like get into the tissue a little bit, you know? Well, oh, it's so nice. And I also love removing it by giving myself like a little hot towel facial. I just take a washcloth and I run it under super hot water and wring it out and then I just let that kind of steam my face and just like kind of, again, just gently and slowly take off the cleanser with the hot towel, it feels amazing. That's the thing we always do in makeup trailers for actors at the end of the day when we take off their makeup, we have little towel warmers and it's just like a nice pampering thing and it feels so lovely. If I have an extra second, I'll put just the tiniest bit of lavender essential oil in a bowl of hot water and I'll put the towel in that and then just like, oh, amazing. So I've already prepped my face for makeup by putting on the SPF slash moisturizer that I always use, the Kiss My Face SPF 30. And I put that on my face, but instead of kind of massaging into my face, I sort of just like, Gently pat and press it in. And now I'm just gonna use this little bit of hydrating floral mist to add a little bit more moisture. But again, especially right now, I don't wanna add a ton of product to my face because this is the only time of the month where I actually feel the pain of my oily skin friends a little bit because I feel like I tend to be pretty um, like, just sort of generally like sweaty and greasy in parts of my face. And there's just like a lot of liquid happening already. So I like to use a floral mist right before I put my makeup on because it just evens out the balance of moisture on my face and makes the my makeup go on really smoothly. And it also is good for my skin, but it's not gonna add like a whole nother layer that's gonna make things be just, a, you know, like an oil slick on my face. So I'm just, and again, just like using more gentle motions than I normally do, kind of like patting and pressing. So another thing that happens to me when I am menstruating is I get generally just more puffy and red, especially around my eyeballs. So I like to teabag myself. I make yerba mate pretty much every day. And so I just stick the little tea bags from that in the refrigerator. And then I just put these uh, bad boys on my eyeballs. It is caffeinated, uh, so the caffeine actually helps to constrict the vessels around the eyeball, so it actually is doing something besides just the coolness of it, which the coolness does also help quite a bit, and it feels lovely. So I'm just, I'm just gonna chill like this for a few minutes. I just leave them on for like however long I have, but it's nice to leave them on for like five, 10 minutes if I got the time. And then while you're just chilling like this, it's also a really good time to sing along to any kind of like angsty female power music that you have. My personal favorite is Alanis Morissette. And bonus points because it is scientifically proven to be the most obnoxious thing that a person can sing along to. So it's great for if you have just like anger at the world right now, it's a good way to get out your aggressions in a way that is fairly benign. So depending on how much actual tea was left in the bag, sometimes there's more than others, I might have to go like rinse it off a little bit and then I just put on a little eye cream and if I didn't have to rinse it off at all, I just put the eye cream on over that and I just am tapping it into my face. 
So like I said before, this time of the month I tend to be more just like oily, sweaty, whatever. And so I'm trying out the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, which I have not used before, so this is a first impressions. I liked the feeling of it in the store. This is a humongous tube. It's 1.7 ounces and it was $45. And I'm just gonna see how I like it. I'm just using a damp beauty blender to press this into my face. So like I said, this is a first impression, so I can't tell you if this product is going to do these things, but what I'm looking for in these situations is something that is going to be lightweight and comfortable because if I hate the feeling of makeup on my face normally, I really hate it when I'm on my period. I don't wanna feel like I've got something on my face and it should have a slightly velvety, oil absorbing texture. Seems pretty good so far. So now I'm gonna use this little pencil brush from that Walmart set you guys told me about and a little bit of Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. Just go through and spot conceal all these sons of bitches. And I like to do that by just covering the spot and the skin surrounding it and then feathering out the edge of it. So that way I have a nice smooth transition from the full coverage on the spot to the light medium coverage on the rest of my foundation. And by taking a second to do this instead of putting full coverage everywhere, I kind of get the best of both worlds where I get to cover the spots that I have from hormones right now but I can still have the comfort of wearing a light coverage on the rest of my face. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer just under my eyes. I'm gonna press that in with a beauty blender right away before going to the other side because with this more matte foundation underneath, it feels like it's drying more quickly. Also, I know you probably can't tell the difference on camera, but my eye area is so much less puffy that it kind of looks like an infomercial. Like, it's crazy. So this foundation does feel like it has a little bit of tackiness, so I'm going to just put a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder all over so that my powder, bronzer, and blush blend easily on top. And I'm gonna use the same Wet n Wild fluffy brush with the Benefit Hula Bronzer, an oldie but a goodie, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna warm everything up and I'm gonna put that on the areas where the sun naturally hits the face, the cheekbones, the nose, the forehead. And then once I've kind of hit those main spots, I'll swirl the brush around on the rest of my face. So if I'm following the instructions for this video and I want to look like I'm not on my period because I'm so full of happiness and sunshine, then I'm gonna have to go with my beloved Luminoso blush by Milani. And I'm gonna put that all over my cheekbones. I'm gonna concentrate it like I always do where I can feel that my zygomatic bone is the most pronounced, but then I'm gonna just kind of like a little bit. And I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up and out and fill them in a little bit. I'm not gonna do very much because I already have resting bitch face like hardcore and it's even worse when I'm on my period so I don't really want to darken them very much. I want to keep it kind of soft and open so I'm just going where I am literally bald. And then I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow in Blonde to just fill them in and keep the hairs in place, add a little fullness but without being very dark. So something I feel really strongly about when I'm on my period is choosing sleep over any other activity, including and especially having more time to do my makeup in the morning. However, if I want to trick people into thinking that I'm not on my period slash not half asleep slash not imagining myself punching everybody in the face, then I want to make sure that my eyes are defined, which means I want to rely on things that are high impact but low effort. And my favorite way to do that is to do the world's simplest smoky eye using a cream shadow stick. I absolutely love the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. This is the shade Cocoa, which is a shimmery brown color. I don't use cream shadow sticks like this at work as much because it's more awkward to sanitize them. And when I'm working, I don't mind, I already have all of my stuff out and I don't mind putting in the extra effort to mix different colors and blah, 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 blah. But when it comes to putting makeup quickly on myself, it is my absolute absolute favorite way to be super lazy and quick. I like using them because you don't have to use a primer first to get the color payoff and just the convenience of having a pencil is awesome. So if you've watched some of my other tutorials or you've read my book, you will kind of recognize the placement here. I sometimes refer to it as the defining shape, but it's really simple and it's an easy way to make sure that your placement of your eyeshadow is going to be flattering and lifting your individual eyeball. So I'm just gonna close my eye and I'm gonna press this color down into my lashes. The only thing I don't like about shadow sticks like this is that they're always too big in my opinion. I wish that they were just shaped a little smaller so it's easier to like get into the inner corner of the eye and stuff, but 
Oh well. So I'm just kind of rubbing this all over my lid, filling in my lid like it's a space on a coloring book. And I'm taking that color up just right to where I can actually feel my socket bone. And with my eye open, I just wanna make sure that the color slightly peeks out above my crease. And I'm also going to take it out slightly on this angle of the corner of the nose through the corner of my eye. And then working somewhat quickly, cause this does dry and set, I'm just going to use a soft buffing brush to blend out that edge and take the color out a little bit further on that angle of the corner of the nose through the corner of the eye. And then I'm going to use my finger to literally just like wipe off that little bit of stray eyeshadow that went a little bit past the angle. It is seriously so fast and easy. You don't have to use primer. You just go straight in with the pencil. You close your eye, make sure you get it down into your lashes, fill in your whole lid, open your eye, look straight ahead, make sure the color is just peeking out above your crease. Take it out a little bit on that angle of the corner of the nose through your corner of your eye, and then take a good blending brush and soften out that edge. Bam. Now I'm going to put a little bit on the lower lash line, and I'm going to connect it up to that eyeshadow on the top, and I'm going to take it down to this lowest point of my lower lash line, and I'm going to put a little bit on my water line, which tends to be a little bit redder than normal at this time of the month, and I'm going to use the back end of that little brush to just blend it. And if you get it a little bit underneath, just quickly wipe it away with your finger or a Q-tip. That's one of the annoying reasons why I wish that the pencils were smaller. FYI, this is a good blending brush, but it is a little bit big for people like me with small eyes. So if you have a little bit of trouble with it, I apologize. I'm kind of regretting choosing it. I'm trying to not overwhelm you guys with expensive products. I'm using these like less expensive brushes, which I do like, but this one is a little bit too big for precision. And then I'm just taking what's left on this brush actually and filling in the inner half of my lower lash line a little bit. And I've actually decided to fill in the water line completely. I was going to put like a highlight shade on the inside but then I realized I don't need anything making my eyes look puffy right now, so I'm just going to stick with the darker colors. And I'm going to keep using this little back of the brush and the MAC Paint Pot Black Round. And I'm going to smudge this into the upper lash line, pressing it down into the lashes. And I'm just kind of going straight across, but when I get to that highest point of my upper lash line, I'm thickening it a little bit, so I'm just lifting my eye. And I'm just connecting that down to the bottom lash line, like right in the water line and just barely onto the lashes a little bit because I don't want to drag my eyes down. I want to keep it kind of like just in that little bit of the corner. And I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick like, again, my apologies that it looks like I am gouging out my eye when I do this. I'm not, I promise. And I'm never ever moving up my lash while I'm pressed down. I'm not yanking them. I only move the curler when I have released my lashes. I'm just doing little pumps walking up the lash. Slap on some CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Oh, I meant to ask you guys, what are your favorite things to do when you're on your period to make you feel less shitty? I really want to hear. You guys had awesome comments on my video where I talked about punch dancing when you don't feel good. I got seriously like amazing life tips from you all. So I'd be super down to hear your advice about your lady times. And for lips, I want to keep them hydrated and I just want to brighten up my complexion. So I'm going to use the Milk Balm Tint in the shade Clockwork, which is that pretty coral color I just talked about in my faves video. And I'm just gonna put a little on and then I'm just gonna kind of blend it out with my finger. Ta-da! All in all, this makeup literally takes less than 10 minutes. It's super quick and easy. And I definitely think that using these types of products really helps when your skin is more hormonal and greasy and sweaty so that you don't have to be touching up as often. All right, I hope this was helpful and you all feel like you're ready to go out when you're on your periods like the warriors, like the fucking bleeding, literally bleeding warriors that you are. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Kikichi Makeup. And if you are not subscribed, you should subscribe or else no soup for you. All right, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Goodbye. I'm free, but I'm focused. I'm green, but I'm wise. I'm hard, but I'm friendly, baby. I'm sad, but I'm laughing. 
I'm brave, but I'm chicken shit. I'm sick, but I'm pretty, baby. And what it all boils down to is that no one's really got it figured out just yet. Well, I.